EMT trips are not random hallucinations. A software engineer in Chicago, a Shipibo shaman deep in the Amazon, and a retired physicist from Israel, three people who've never met from completely different cultures and timelines, each took DMT and came back describing the exact same thing. A glowing, interdimensional creature with too many arms and tools made of light. So how do we explain that? Johns Hopkins ran a large-scale study with over 2,500 DMT users, and 75% of them believed the beings they met during their trips weren't just hallucinations. They were real, conscious, and still existed after the experience ended. They believe they've spoken to non-human intelligences from another dimension, and you should know that people in dream states rarely produce more than 20 microvolts of gamma brainwaves. But on DMT, users consistently spike up to 120 microvolts, that's six times higher. It's the kind of activity you usually only see in advanced monks during deep meditation. So no, this isn't just dreaming. 